Hi everyone, my name is Ling Chi. We're going to do primrose today on colored shrimp paper. And we find these plants that uh, inspired in the nursery this weekend. So um, we have a new variety package called Spring Color. Um, collection and it's a very nice package of color paper you can try it out without buying too much paper these three paper are barley pistachio and salmon and uh, if you have khaki you can also do the khaki paper and um, the first one i did was on the khaki The second one, this is the composition I'm going to do today, is on salmon paper, salmon colored paper. The color I'm going to use is the my traveling 12 color companion set, blue proof white and ink. Uh, this time because we are using quite a few colors, so I did some mixing. Today. So I have white. This is um, white mixed with um, magenta and uh, purple. This is magenta and red. This is magenta, red, and purple make a dark red. And this vermilion and then the green. The brushes I'm using is the bud brush or flow brush if you have it, and then the pre-happy dot. And I also need a large brush. So, so today is I'm using the full lotus brush which you can see that lately I'm really into this brush because it does give a lot of volume. So the center of the flower is um, Primrose is green. So I um, use the Green Farm Companion set with mixing with a little yellow and then uh, blend it in this. Oh, by the way, if you have any trouble uh, 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 to stop the bleeding, I will use our glue water, which is one drop of glue that which you can find in our catalog and then with a, a um, tablespoon of uh, water to make it as a glue water to stop the bleeding. So what you do is that you uh, blend, uh, you load your brush with glue water first, and then you then you go into the companion set, uh, your color. So this way will stop the bleeding. And um, so I'm doing the center of the flower which is kind of make a circle dot around 
This is my center of the flower. And then I use my butt brush or your flow brush and I will load the uh, magenta and um, red mix. I'm going back tip the magenta and then blend again double load so I will have an intense color magenta so then I will do the So the primrose, it's kind of rounded like a heart-shaped petal. So, um, so I make it into the two-stroke. So it's like so, like a bracket. And I filled a little bit the gap with single stroke. So just make sure they are kind of tight. And then the center, I accent a little bit with the dark red we make, made it before, which is magenta, red, and purple. So make the center a little bit darker. So this is my first flower. The second flower, again, I'm using pre-happy dot or happy dot. And I do yellow, uh, green and yellow mix and mix. And then I do the second one on the side. It's like a droopy one. So I use the, this time I load the brush with white and then bleed through white and then blend. So I will have And then the center, I dip a little bit purple. And then the top one is the similar composition as except going up. So I'm using green and the yellow mix for the center of the flower. And then I use the bud brush or flow brush loaded with white and then bleed proof white and blend so i'm doing here and there that's the um, holding And I rinse the tip off and load some purple and blend and accent. So 
soften it up. And then I'm doing some butt here. So again, I use yellow with a little green as holding the butt. And then I'm using white. Okay. Just a simple Use the red a little bit to kind of holding it. So then the next one, I'm going to do a droopy one. I'm loading a little bit purple and white mix. And then I add a little bit red on the top. And then I'm doing. So then I'm center with a little bit red to blend it in. So now I'm ready to do the leaves. So I'm using Full Lotus brush, which is a large fat brush. If you have super flow, that'll be good. Any large brush you are happy with, uh, you are comfortable with, and then that will be the my choice. So you first you load the green, and I will load a little bit brown. And then yellow. The purpose of this is that uh, this way it will soften the green from the companion set, set. The straight companion set green is kind of yucky. So sometimes I even load a little bit white. So this is my first leaves. So it's the front of the leaf. So I go. And then it's like a skirt to hovering them. The, um, so I'm loading more yellow, the same brush, and brown. And I'm mixing. So. And then on the side, I tip a little bit ink. I use the same thing with the ink on the bottom. It's the shade. Then I'm going back with a small pre-happy dot brush loaded with the green and yellow. I'm going to start connecting the, the leaves with the uh, flower with the leaves. So I'm connecting with this.
green and yellow mixture. Blend. So then I'm going back with my um, full lotus brush and dry that up and then with some green, yellow, add some accent. A little ink. That's the finished composition. Mm -hmm.